What's going on, guys, gals, non-binary pals? It's your boy, Wubaflup, Humbaflup, the third, the Q is silent, no relation, but you can call me Dylan. And today, I'm joined by... Me. What's going on, me? How you doing? I'm doing fine. All right. <laughs> Your YouTube channel is Brian's Visions, right? Brian's yes, Visions? Is. Okay. Yes. Do not do not go there. That, that place is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think, given that we will be ranking every single Ben Ten Alien, uh, apart from the reboot and Ultimates, I think it'd be best to start with the most powerful one. So I say, Waka Trout should be S tier. Waka Trout. Okay, okay. Now let's get this stuff in all fairness. Yeah, no. But in all seriousness, I feel like he does have his advantages though. He does. He's done. He's he's good for swimming. He's small. He's slippery. He's easy. He's good for like escaping. Yeah, but, but you could replace that's him about with it. any other aquatic alien. Yeah, like every single like function that he could serve, there's another one that does it better. But just because he's such a meme, I think he should at least be C tier. All right, but I feel okay. I'm gonna ask you a question: Are we ranking them as a whole? But do we also take into consideration the series they were in? Uh, like, what do you mean? As in, Walk as in, Walk Trout was an omniverse. Do we also take into consideration his effectiveness when you view what aliens been had available at the time? I think we should just look at them like on their own. Okay, so we're ranking them on their own. Yeah, in that case, like anything from from Rip Jaws to like anything else is just better than him. Yeah, like he has good advantages, but there's just so many that also have the same advantages. So, yeah, C tier. And, and I also D just... Or D. D or C? I'll concede the D. I'm fine oh, with right. that. All right. Like, huh. I feel like D, like, I feel like C is like the, the fine aliens. D, C yeah, would be the yeah. Fine aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, up next, brainstorm. Gray matter, but better, sort of. Yeah, he's definitely. I feel maybe not on the same level of intelligence wise, but he's still like almost just as smart, and he has offensive capabilities. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking B for brainstorm. B for brainstorm. I feel like that. Yeah, that's a fair one. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, way big. His practicality is basically zero. True, but like, I'm thinking A. A. Yeah, but you have to take into consideration. You need a wide open space to use this guy. That is true, but I don't know. I feel like it's also just like, yeah, like you can't use him that often. But, like, when there's a chance to use him, it's, like, the best play you can make. Yeah, I mean, his his entire gimmick is, like, he's strong, but that's purely because he's big. Like, Boom. your main gimmick is your size. He also does have a laser beam made out of cosmic energy. Hmm. Yeah, A tier, hmm. Like, I'm kind of conflicted here, purely because his practicality and his use case is so low. True, true. I'm also the... But me, personally, I'm also taking into account just, like, the overall aesthetic and design of it. Like, I just he like the idea. Cool design. He has a pretty cool design. Okay, well, I'll put it in... How about B tier? And then if you... If, like, you know, the paying what goes on later, maybe move it up, maybe move it down. But for now, how about B tier? I think I think I'm fine with B tier. Like I would give this to you, but because his use case is so That's low, true. That's true. Yeah. There's not a lot of situations where you can use him. Also, also how this man escaped the Omnitrix is beyond me. That's a whole other video. We're we're not getting into that right now. <laughs> Next we have Arctic Arctiguana. Arctiguana. Yeah, basically okay. big chill, but a lizard. Big chill? Wait, that's it? 
like another freeze alien. Yeah, yeah, Arctic Guana. It's like an iguana with like Arctic pipe. You can shoot ice beams, and that's really it. I think you can also stick to walls. Mm, like if he's if this is one of those aliens where there's just a better version of it. Like personally, is a better version. Big Chill has more capabilities. I, I'm thinking C, just because he's also, he was introduced in the original series and was like the first ice alien Ben ever had. Hmm. So it's more of like, also like a nostalgia factor of like, he's like one of like the OG aliens. Yeah, I guess, I guess that works. He's not, well, I, I would say he's not one of the most recognizable OG aliens though. True, true. But I think, see, he's not Walker Trout, dear. Like, Walker Trout is the dividing line between good and bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I think C's fine. Alright. Uh, Armadrillo. Armadrillo. Yeah, hmm. he's good. He, he's good? Like, yeah. He has, he, has, he has a ton of stuff he could be used for. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty indifferent with him, so wherever you think he should go. I mean, like, I'm a huge Omniverse fan. Like, I've seen this guy a bunch. Like, I, fe I feel like I feel like low B, probably. Like, it's either B, B? or B. Like, yes. Oh, he has use case. He's he's an alien. Like his power is one of a kind. I think. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm thinking C for now. C for now should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely he's pretty useful. My whole thing is just that he's his design is really lacking. Like well, I recently also spotted like his design. Like you know Ben Twenty Three, right? Yeah. It kind of sparked a debate on somewhere I read when somebody saw Ben 23's design of this guy, and they just questioned why do all of Ben 23's aliens have to be blue? <laughs> because in that universe, everything is blue. Like, that's the thing. His design is legitimately just the same as normal Ben's, but blue. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> nah, but... He, he's fine. He's okay. He's good. He's good. Astrodactyl. Isn't this just another flying one? Yeah, he can fly, and he can also, like, shoot out, like, energy bolts and make energy whips. So, energy. I mean, that's pretty unique, ain't it? Like, a lot of... If you're just gonna count his flying thing, that doesn't account for much, since a lot of aliens do that. Yeah. Where would you place this guy? Um, hmm. This is a tough one because, like, he, like you said, he is very unique, but also it's just like I'm not a big fan of his design. Like, I feel like it's a little, I don't know, there's just something off with it that I'm just not a big fan of. It, it's a design I feel like they've tried a few times, but they've never quite gotten away with it. I would, I would put Astrodactyl in like C or D territory. C or D territory? Do we place him in the Walker Trout dividing line? <sighs> like he has a lot more use case. Yeah, I I really is. I really don't want to put it next to Walker Trout, but I really I don't like, think I feel like it's we're gonna C. Be saying that a lot. I feel like we're going to be saying that. I know. I'm I'm tempted to move Walker Trout down to E so we can put him in D. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's actually a first. Yeah, I, I, th I, yeah, I think we're gonna bring Waka Trout down so Astrodactyl can soar. <laughs> yeah. But like, oh, at like a one story level. <laughs> All right, Ball Weevil. He's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he's he's pretty useful. Um, like. I feel like I've mentioned this to you before, but I've said that there's like a general advantage to being small. Yeah, yeah. Also, like his gimmick is also pretty good. I'm I'm thinking C. 
I'm also thinking, see, like, he is fairly powerful in the right circumstance. Yeah, he's definitely in, like, the upper levels of, like, being useful, but also like, he's not, like, quite at the top. Like, he's not extremely useful. He gets squashed by pretty much, like, anything completely bigger. Like, yeah. you have to squash him. But, yeah. Like, his, his power is pretty good. I feel he's used regularly, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Next, next we have a big one. Big chill. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. He's... <laughs> His design is one of the best. Yeah, I, I love how his, you know, wings turn into basically like a little cloak. Like that's a really cool and design luckily feature. They, luckily, they put this design of him in here. <laughs> we do not talk about the Hunchback of Notre Dame. We, we do not talk about it. We, I'm thinking... I feel, I feel easy beat here, I think. B? No, you know what? A, 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 A. I'll, I'll, I'll concede that, because I, honestly, I was thinking S, but since, but since you said B, I'm thinking A is a good middle ground. I, I feel like S is like the astronomical godly wins, though. That is, that, that's true, but I think, I feel like Big Chill's also, he's like, I don't know, he's like one that like a lot, like almost everybody in, like likes. He's like got like such a, he's got a good design, good power set. He's definitely like a, like a community favorite. I, I, A is good, A is good. A is good. Like, I feel the point is, he is very good. He's very recognizable. His design is great. But when you look at, wait, when you look at his actual power, like, I feel, I feel like S should be like the top of the line when it comes to a lot of things. That's true. That's true. Like, sure, I'll move him up there if you want to. I feel like I can't concede to that. I, I, th I think he can stay in A. A, a is a good spot. You're right. I think A is good. All right. All right. Um, up Chuck. Where's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> I I honestly I kind of want to give Up Chuck to one of the higher ones just because that there's two of them like in the canon. It's a very unique set of circumstances, and it actually revealed some one of the more interesting gimmicks that the Omnitrix has built in. Definitely, I love because I, I love that the fact like they, they didn't they weren't going to do that originally. Originally, it was just you know like a different design for like Alien Force, and then they decide you know what if both of them exist? It's not just a different design, but it's a different like subspecies. And I love that idea. Same thing. Exactly. I love yeah. that idea. That's like definitely that's something that a lot of people have done with like Shot Squatch and Rip Jaws. They've been like because the, like there's two different designs for each that are like so different. A lot of people are like, eh, what if it's like a subspecies thing, which I can get behind. Like it's a, purely the circumstance of his existing puts him like up. Definitely. Like it's. His species is a lot more interesting than him, than the alien itself. I'm I'm thinking B. Yeah, B seems fine. Like he he gets carried by the fact that he added some interesting lore. Yeah, and not just that. He's also I think he's honestly one of the most useful ones if you ask me. Because like think about it, he literally his stomach literally goes to like a pocket dimension, so he can literally eat anything. Anything. Yeah. And any amount. Like, they, they eat their home planet when they go to a different one. Like, they destroy their fucking... They eat their planet, dude. Crazy. <laughs> like, it's so fucking crazy. Like, I think he definitely... If ben, like, if ben was evil, he would straight up just fucking eat people <laughs> as a junk. Which, which evil, Ben? We have a few of them. I think that he was, like, legit evil. I think every evil version of Ben is, like, comically evil. Like, it's not, like, fucking... It's not, like... It's not played seriously. Like, they're not, like, you know, wasn't out for blood. They're just not there, like, good people. Wasn't there, like, just a legit evil version of Ben that was that didn't even have an alternative design? Are you talking like, about it in Omniverse or Alien Force? Omniverse. I mean, there, there was one that had, like, black hair... And that was the only difference. Yeah, bad Ben. I think that. Yeah, that was yeah, that was the one that was called. I like the interpretation in Alien Force. There's an episode where Ben pretends to be evil as like a a, a test for some of the newer plumbers, 
and it's legitimately terrifying because he effortlessly takes down a Tetramand, uh, Accelerate, takes down one of those, takes down a Pyronite, like, without even trying. He is crazy strong when you think about it, especially yeah. with some of the stuff we're going to discuss later down the line here. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if there was, like, a version of him that was, like, legitimately, like, out for blood evil, we'd be fucked. Like... I mean, it, I mean, it could have been El Beto if they didn't dumb him down like a lot. <laughs> yeah, like, I, like for comparison, there's a there was like I think an evil clone of Spider Man who would basically attach his hand to people's faces and then wouldn't let go, and when he, he would pull his hand away and just rip their face off. Oof. That's what I mean. That if Ben was just like 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 fucking like evil evil. He would just fucking eat people as Upchuck and be like, okay, what are you going to do about it? All right. All right, yeah. Now, we should get back to this. To some of, we're moving on to some of the ones I actually like, which are, well, I just like to call them the Halloween aliens. Yeah, a lot of people call them that, the Halloween trio. Like, um, I really like them, and I hate that they're not used that much. I know, I know. I honestly, so let's start with Snarrow. I'm thinking A. The mummy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I also, I also feel like, I really like their designs. I, I really like his design specifically. He's one of my favorites. I would put him in, like, my own playlist. Totally, totally. And, and like, his, his, power ain't, his power ain't nothing to scoff at either. Yeah, like, he's, like, he's almost invulnerable, really, because, like, the only actual part of his body is his head. And then the rest of it is just bandages. So, like, you, you could, like, take a, a major beating and not be harmed. That's a bit, that's a bit of a dump, that's a bit of a nerfed ghost freak type of thing. Like, mm. it, I feel like A is fine. Yeah, A should be fine. All right. Like, ben really, Victor. Really good. This guy got used even less. I, he got used in one episode in the original series. Like, he got it, and then immediately used it, and then never used it again. Oh, like, like another one we'll be getting to in a minute. <laughs> I'm... I'm thinking... Honestly, I feel like all three of the Halloween trio should be A's, honestly. Purely because they're really cool, and they're criminally underused. I agree. Like, they're, they're great designs. I love the concept. And I love, like, they're, like, you know, like, the three aliens that Ben, like, unlocked by scanning. Like, all the other ones he got, like, you know, randomly. But these three specifically, he scanned in order to get it. And I think that's really cool. It is incredibly cool. Yeah. I, I feel like that. I feel like all of them deserve at least an A tier. But next case is actually special, I think. Like, what do we say about him? We say F and move on from there. <laughs> no, are we gonna but... call him for this? Ben Wolf or Blitz Wolf? Or... Um, I mean, honestly, either one is fine. He did. This is one of the first scenarios that showed the Omnitrix failing, like in his starting appearance. Yeah. He is he is cool. He does get used more than the other two. Does he? Blitz Wolfer comes back, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean like all three of them come back in Omniverse and they get used quite a lot in Omniverse. Where where do we place this guy? He made his appearance in the original series. I, I think he should be A. I think all three of them should be A. He's like He's also yeah, I feel like that I feel like that's justified. He's also the one like original series alien that I don't think many people even remember. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Next one. The spawn of Satan itself. Blocks. Fucking Dutch trademark bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Lego Dutch? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think Lego is Dutch. No, it's de it's, it's definitely like from it's some European country. I don't know which one it is. Where, where does Lego come from? <laughs> Denmark. It's Denmark. It is Denmark. Okay. Villain Denmark. Where do we place this guy? 
I'm not sure. Here's my, here's my problem with blocks, okay? Okay. Like, not looking at the actual design, I love the power set and, the, you know, the idea of it, you know? Like, it's a cool concept, being able to, you know, shapeshift a bunch of, like, shapes and make weapons and whatnot. I love that concept. But the fact that it's a red, blue, and yellow Lego gorilla really as, doesn't help. About his, about his power, can't Upgrade also do that? Technically, but Upgrade has to like actually merge with a piece of technology first. Yeah, so he's like... his design, I do get you in this one. I've seen like a few redesigns of him that look a lot better. Yeah, I had seen one where they literally, they like, they desaturated the colors and are basically like, instead of Legos, he's made out of like concrete and bricks, which like, that would have been way better. It adds to his charm, but on the other side, it doesn't. Yeah, it's like... I feel like his redesign in the five years later thing, I think. Oh, yeah. I he also looks a lot better. Yeah, that one, I like that one a lot. Where do we place him? His design tanks him, like, a lot. I, and you know, I, I went on that big rant, but honestly, I think we should move Walker Trout down to F. God damn it, no. Astrodactyl down to E. Oh, God. And put him in D for Denmark. <laughs> God, sorry, Walkatrout. I really didn't want to do this to my boy Walkatrout, but I just cannot put these guys in the same co- in like the same category as him. It's like I don't even think we could add tears. No, we can with this one. <laughs> it's Walkatrout just got shafted. I- <laughs> he started. He started with like. With, like, a decent tier, he started off with that. But then we're just like, nah, these two cannot be in the same category. Oh, God. All right. Let, let's let let's move away from Morning Walk Trout and move on to the next game. All right. Uh, Bullfrag. Do we count this man's charm as a power? Honestly... I, th- I I think the Riz speaks for itself. <laughs> like, this is where the term Riz Tennessee like, comes from. Like, Atea was about to blow his head off, and he just fucking just <laughs> smooth talked his way in. This guy has well, probably one of the best alien personalities. Yeah, I I just I love the, I love how some of them just have accents for no reason, and I love that he's just he's just from Brooklyn, like for no fucking reason. He's, one of the, he's like one of the few snares where Ben actually acts differently as a different alien. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking like D or C for Bullfrag. D or C? Yeah. I feel like Block Steer is fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll put it with D, yeah. Like, if it, I mean, his actual powers where you look at him. He's like, you know, he has like agility, he can jump. That's really about yeah. it. He's a joy to watch, but his powers are pretty underwhelming. Yeah. Uh, all right. Buzz Shock. An alien that's... Yeah. Like, we, we've we seen... This is one of the ones where we saw the species before the alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I really like Buzz Shock. He's got, a, he's got a really good power set. He... Yeah. He has, he has electricity powers. He can travel through wires... He can duplicate? Like, that's a pretty good set of powers. If he was only an electricity alien, I feel like it would have been way lower since feedback is a thing. But since he also has all these other powers... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking... <sighs> like, B or C. Yeah, that's actually fair. That's fair. Put him, in the, put him like, next to Upchuck. Yeah, yeah. B for Buzzshock. All right. Fine. Cannonbolt. I forgot that this guy was not in season one. <laughs> Since he wasn't, he was not in season one of the original show. Correct. He was in season two, I believe. And he's technically the eleventh alien. That is true. He is the first alien Ben ever unlocked. 
Like, it technically was already in there, I think. Well, it kind of just unlocked out of nowhere. Well, so there's, there's like, a couple of theories as to why it was unlocked. One of them is in, like, the moments before they turn into it, you, you see Ben and Gwen messing with the dial. So it's possible. Because canonically, every alien has their own, like, like left-right, left-right turning code to unlock the DNA. So, so, like, so the theory locked them behind codes. Yeah, so the theory is that Gwen and Ben could have accidentally put in the code to unlock it. Another theory is that because like, the episode they showed up in with the tick, because they had they they had just destroyed that species home planet, that might have caused the DNA to be unlocked. Like maybe some sort of weird particle flew in there or whatever the hell. Yeah, like something like that, where it's like the Omnitrix, you know, it's like, oh shit. This guy is not to be trifled with. We better pull out the A game. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I feel like the messing with the doll thing is probably what it was meant to be. Most likely, yeah. Because they, they show in other scenes of people putting in codes, unlock transformations for Ben. So it makes sense that that's how it was done. Like, wasn't it the same with Way Big? Uh, well, I don't know if, if a code was put in, but like, yeah, yeah, I think Asmuth unlocked it. For yeah, Ben, just I try this one for size. Yeah, and it's like, oh, that's a big alien. I'm not just big. I'm way big. <laughs> like, I feel like the, his first appearance does give him some credit. Mm. He's also he's also a pretty recognizable alien. True, true. He was reused in the reboot. It's true. He's got a good power set. He's got a good offense and defense. And then had to learn that the hard way. Yeah, and I, I what I like about Cannonbolt is it shows how it's not just the watch, it's also Ben himself. Because Cannonbolt species aren't technically offensive aliens. They use like they curl up for defense to like protect themselves, but but then Ben being Ben uses that as an offensive attack. So it kind of shows how because it, the homage is on Ben. Like he, anyone else probably wouldn't think to do that, but he did. A tier? I'm thinking A tier. A tier? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. All right. The Petro Sapien Jesus himself, Chromastone. Yeah, you want to give some context to the like the first time that we talked about this guy? <laughs> Bro, we spent like. I think almost three hours just talking about Chromastone and the giant, like, lore that it has. I feel I want to give him an S tier. I purely for the lore. Uh, honestly, yes. S tier. S tier. I'm all for. Our first S tier, Chromastone. 100%. Like, the sheer lore attached to this man. Dude, I'm still upset because we, we were recording. Like, we were playing Yu Gi Oh! and recording us talking, and then that file got corrupted. So, I lost like the six hour video of us talking about Ben 10 and playing Yu Gi Oh! With the three hour Chrome Stone situation. I was so pissed. <laughs> God. But, like, he's a one of a kind alien. He's. I think, wasn't he part of Diamond's Head species as well? Yeah, he's like, it, it, technically he's a different species, but he's also like part of their race almost. I am one of the people who likes his later design. I know you don't with a passion. I don't think we can be friends anymore. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, no, here's the thing. Like, I'm not that against it. It's just, there's something about, I think it's the shoulders. I'm not a big fan of the huge shoulders, but I'm also okay with it. No, you know what it is? I think I know, I know what I hate so much about it is because I saw someone did a piece of fan art of that version of Chromastone, but they changed the uniform and I loved it so much more. I think it's the uniform that's throwing me off so much. The, okay, that's with a lot of Omniverse designs. I know, not not just like not the existence of the uniform, but just like the actual design of that specific uniform, like the fucking like the like the swimsuit leotard kind of thing. It just does not look good on Chromastone. 
I feel like he was meant to look like a gladiator. The point, the thing that does it for me is the face mask. Yeah, the face mask is fine. I'm okay with that that part. That one's okay. Like, I really like that. I like the fact <clears> that his <throat> body looks like armor. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably continue. <laughs> we, should, we should probably continue before we go into another... We're getting uh, sidetracked by Chrome Stone again. All right. Um, but yeah, S tier. All right. On to our first uh, Powerhouse Playlist Alien, Clockwork. Jesus Christ, this one is overpowered. He really is. Honestly, I'm thinking S tier. Yeah, this is one of the few obvious S tiers. Yeah, like, Bro controls time. Like, not only can he, like, pause time, but he can literally go to a scene, like, go to an area, and just re-watch the previous events that have happened there as holograms. Like, can you imagine if, like, Ben was a detective and just went to a crime scene? He's like, hey, look, that's the guy. <laughs> like, yeah, there's so much this guy we can use for. And didn't he, and wasn't this also a specific alien that showed off a specific function of the Omnitrix with Ben, like, sharing it with his younger self? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, they showed that if, like, if two Omnitrixes are activated at the exact same time, They'll synchronize and unlock a transformation in the other one. Yeah, and that's how we got, like, 10-year-old clockwork design. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is S tier. Yeah. Alright, now we just I talked... Feel like people, I feel like people would crucify you if you didn't put this one in S tier. We just talked about Jesus, Petrosapien. Now let's talk about Petrosapien. <laughs> Diamond Head. <laughs> Or as everybody on Reddit calls him, better forearms. Really? Do people say that? Yeah, people... Like, no, generally on the Benton Reddit, there's just a lot of hate for forearms in general. Really? There is a crap ton of hate for forearms, and people say, doesn't Diamond Head just do a strength job better? I did not know that. I've got problems with that statement, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> I, he is also, <clears throat> he's also one of the ones that Ben constantly used. Bro, I, honestly, I think S tier. Yeah. Yeah, like I've I've said this before, but if I could have only one transformation, it would be Diamond Head. Just, really? just because uh, obviously in this situation, we're assuming Alien X is off the table. Yes, he is off the table. I'm gonna, I have to remember to cut that part out because I forgot we weren't supposed to bring him up. <laughs> God damn it, cut the black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut that out. Um, but yeah, I think a diamond head is like the most versatile one. Like not only does he have strength, like not as much as the other ones, but still a fair amount of super strength. He's also got super durability. He can create like shields and structures and platforms. He can turn his hands into like, you know, like blades and whatnot. He can shoot them as projectiles. He, he's got a lot of different functions that I think are really you useful. Could, plus, I feel like he... I mean, the crystal stays after you detach it from him, right? Correct. So, he could sell parts of his body. Yeah. Like, I feel like he'd just be the best util, one of the best utility aliens to have IRL. But I think... Here's the thing to also think about. And I, I didn't think about this until like just now, but... He's technically not actually made of actual diamonds. It's like some other crystal. That's just what Ben called it. Yeah. So my, my question is, if he went to a pawn shop and tried to sell a piece of diamond head crystal, what would like a human, you know, think of it? Like, what would a human jewelry store owner think of it? Would he just be like, yeah, like, cool. Looks like a, like a, just like an every other gem. Like he wouldn't. He probably wouldn't see the worth in it. Yeah, like, would it really be that, you know, big? Like, would it be... You probably have to set it to, like, some intergalactic type of deal. Yeah, and even then, like, you think about it, like... Well, actually, no. I was gonna say, if you think about it, there is, like, a whole race made of this crystal, so it can't really be that, you know, expensive. But for a short time, that entire race was extinct apart from two people being Tetrats and Ben's transformation. So, yeah. during that time, it probably would have been worth a whole lot of money. 
Probably, but now we kind of over flooded the market. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back onto the track. Let's get back on track. Um, ditto. Isn't this guy just worse Echo Echo? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, is that up for debate? I. <clears throat> here's the thing. I like his it's design. Never, never, not even worse Echo Echo. Also worse Bus Shock. I like his design more than Echo Echo, but Power Set, I'm not a fan of. Would this man be E tier? Mm, I'd say. Not, not Walk a Chug tier, but. I, I would put him in either. I'd put him in D. D? Yeah. Like, the guy in E also had a pretty good power. Uh, here's, here's the thing. Because like, here's the thing between Ditto and Echo Echo. They can both duplicate, but if one Ditto clone gets hurt, they all feel the same pain. Ooh. But then Echo Echo, if one Echo Echo gets hurt, it just poofs out of existence. So it's, so it's just worse. Yeah, it's, he's just worse. So it's like one of them is more durable, but they all feel the pain. And I, I feel like E's here. E? E. Ah. <sighs> Considering the guy in E tier also had a pretty like good power, but we still yeah. Have okay, okay. I'll put I'll put him in E. I'll put him in. We can move him. We can move him up later, but I feel like he's just too outclassed by a different option. True. S speaking of a different option, uh, Echo Echo. <laughs> not taking the ultimate into consideration here. Correct. Not taking that into consideration. I'm thinking D or C. D or C for for real. <clears throat> I'm not really sure. You know, may maybe maybe B. I'll go B. Alright. Like, he's good, he clones, sound. Yeah, he's got a lot of good uses. And consider and also his cloning ability is probably the best one out of the out of the aliens that can clone themselves. True, true. Hands down, my favorite scene is when he's fighting Ultimate Kevin as Echo Echo. And Ke and Kevin destroys every clone he sees. Thinking that he killed Ben, only for Ben to just fucking kick the trunk off of his car and be like, I always keep a spare in the trunk. <laughs> there was literally a spare Echo Echo clone just fucking sitting in the trunk. That's actually genius. It's so stupid though, but I love it so much. That is actually uh, genius. No, think about it. The fact that he could hide one anywhere, though. True, and that's the thing with Echo Echo, too, is, like, when he duplicates, there is no original Echo Echo. Like, if he makes a clone, and if either one, if either one lives, then that's Ben. Like, it, his mind is, like, copied amongst all of them. It still has the timeout function, right? Yes. Like, I thought, I thought, I had this weird thing in my head while for a while, I thought that if Echo Echo cloned himself, Ben couldn't time out. I think... I remember with Ditto, when he had Ditto, and he was timing out, it would he wouldn't time out unless all of them were, like, close enough for them to merge. I think, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I think it's like, if, you know, if he was Echo Echo and it started timing out, they'd all be forced back together unless something stopped them. You but... Wait, what about the one in the trunk? <laughs> that okay, so on like a small tangent real quick, that reminds me of I have a, I have this theory. That there's one episode of Ultimate Alien where Ben turns into Echo Echo and then makes two clones and then they all turn back into Ben. And I hate that because in that episode when they turn to Ben, they have different personalities, right? Like it's like it's almost like his personality is split into three beings. But I feel like that would make more sense if he did that with Ditto, because that would he, also give Ditto something unique. No, but if you, also too, it'd be Ultimate Alien, so he had Ditto unlocked again, so that would've been cool to bring it back. But 
when you think about Ditto, the fact that they feel the same pain makes me think that, you know, like their minds are like linked together. So like they're still connected. So if they return human all of a sudden, that might separate the connection, leaving parts of him in the different Ben bodies. But Echo Echo, when he duplicates, it's a complete copy of his mind. Yes, well, they probably should have brought Ditto back for that one. And yeah, and also too, like, I feel that would have been a really great way to bring back an OG alien for like one episode, just to do that. I think it would have been great. <clears throat> I mean, but like, that's the thing. Echo Echo is in the same watch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I feel like we. I feel like that is a really good point, but we're kind of going on a tangent. Again. Yeah, move on now. Uh, <laughs> I guy. This one got brought back in the reboot for some reason. I think. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I'm thinking a. Really. Here's my thing. All right, so one guy has 360 degree vision. That's pretty cool. Two. That is he has. An electricity beam, an ice beam, a fire beam, and a plasma beam. The Avatar was the only one who could bend it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, granted, you know, each they're not as strong as the other elemental aliens, but the fact that he has like four different attacks in one alien. Yeah, like that's pretty cool. Yeah, ready? Want to play some? I'm thinking A. Yeah, yeah, that's actually that's actually pretty good. Yeah, Consider, considering the other ones in here, I'm, I'll on my <laughs> screen. I'll just shove them right next to Big Chill. <laughs> um, I I also love just the fact that he fit like anytime he turns into him, every sentence has an eye pun in it, which makes me think that's like part of his DNA. Like he's physically incapable of not making an eye pun. Oh God. I also love. That in Omniverse, Ben 23, you know, he usually has, like, worse names for his aliens. There, there's a scene where he tur- where, where Ben 23 turns into I Guy, and he goes, I call this one I Guy. And Ben just goes, yeah, it's a pretty bad name, I'll admit that. <laughs> <laughs> like, the fact that Ben 23 had the same name makes him realize, yeah, wow, that's a really bad name if you thought of it, too. Would, you know what would actually be fun? It would actually be funny if he ended up renaming it after that. I think it would be funny if Ben 23 had a better name. Oh, God. Like, he would have been standing like, like, that's that's actually a pretty good name. That's Shit. Right, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, next F-tier. up, Bootleg Accelerate. F tier. F tier? F tier. <laughs> There is nothing unique about this guy. Okay. I, I'm not a big fan of him, but I don't think he deserves walk a trout territory. There is nothing unique about him. I'm thinking D. D? D. We're putting this man above Ditto? Unless you want to move Ditto up. Like, at least Ditto had the gimmick of all the clones feeling the pain. This guy is just Accelerate, but... No, it's just Accelerate. Uh, how about, how's this for a gimmick? Uh, he was actually created for a racing video game. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's why they made him. Because they wanted to have, like, a new alien in, like, a Ben 10 racing game. So they made a fast track for that. That's where he came from. That's even worse. Okay, look. I... I will... The lowest I will go is E. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'll put him next to Ditto. Ditto, just don't look him in the eyes. (laughs) Alright. Now, the original strongman. Forearms. The most overused alien in the original series. The point is, I have actually warmed up to him because, like, you know that I've been rewatching the series, right? Yeah. Like, I feel in in one of the most recent episodes that I did rewatch, 
Orem actually got used properly, which was that he basically beat the crap out of Kevin with <laughs> his actual force behind it. You could feel the punches, basically. <clears throat> like, Forearms is legitimately strong, but most of the time he's just used to show that Ben can't solve everything with brute force. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking A, A tier. A tier, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause, just because I, I, I would put him in S, but I feel like A is a good spot for him. A, despite, like, like I said before, all the hate he gets on Reddit for being incredibly overused and outclassed by a lot of strong aliens. Mm -hmm. But I feel like he still deserves his tier. Yeah. All right. The first major bit of lore we probably got in the original series, when Ghost I Freak. About it, I thought about it, and I think this guy deserves an S tier. I, I'm so glad you said that. So do I. I was... <laughs> the lore is also just the... When you think about it, the insanity of his power. I know, right? He, he, that one is also one of the more versatile ones, like intangibility, invisibility... Telepathy, but, possession. When you think about it, like without any like special gadgets or stuff like that, he just can't be touched. True, true. But it did ha eventually have the drawback of creating one of the more interesting villains. That is true. That is true. <clears throat> also, you know how I feel about his omniverse. I'm. I'm kind of okay with his omniverse design. I loved it. Okay, I, w I wasn't sure if you if you didn't like it or not when you said that. No, like I've, I've talked about this to you before. You probably forgot, but I yeah. do really like the design, and I think the chains. If it was symbolism, it is excellent symbolism. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I I really think the reasoning behind them is like it's supposed to like keeps a scare from like escaping again. Yeah, it, like I feel like. If the Omnitrix is it, the Omnitrix is like linked to Ben, so maybe it like sense this fear overusing him. Mm. And here's here's my thing. Um, do, do you remember the five years later Ghost Freak design? Hold on, let me look it up real quick. I might remember it, but I might be wrong. That one is my favorite design ever. It looks so cool. I love the fingers, how they're like made of bones. I love how his tail is like the black and white tentacle. Yeah, that design also has what I love about the Omniverse one, which is the leaner physique. Yeah, I think if that one had, like, maybe chains and whatnot on it, that would be the perfect design ever. Yeah, but, like, five years later isn't can Like, that was a fan-made thing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not canon, but... I do, I searched up, and... Yeah, that I absolutely love that design. The fact that you can also see the tentacle from the ghost underneath in there... Yeah. All right. Yeah. But I, I, go, I feel like Ghost Freak, yeah, S tier. If you look at the sheer insanity of his lore and his power. <clears throat> Agreed. All right. Now on to the polyamorous blob. Goop. I love like Goop. Me too. I really like form shifting liquid type aliens. Like, which is why I also. Like upgrade is my favorite thing of all time when it comes to Ben Ten. True, true. I like Goop. I like how for I like the gimmick that he has, where like he has like the flying saucer, which is how he basically moves around and whatnot. You know what I actually like? What? Goop is like the one-time Vilgex used an alien. That is true. And it's also yeah. the one thing I fucking hate the most is that the fucking like the, the the little flying saucer apparently has an off button for some fucking reason. And it's never brought up ever again. Yeah, like, really? That's... <laughs> that's like, that's how you defeat him? Like, I would have <clears throat> even settled for... I would have even settled for Ben just shoving the saucer underneath his jacket to block out the signal. Yeah, so it's only stupid else like that. Or, like, he just threw it, like, into, like... I don't know, if he just used it to, like, basically throw Vilgax around by moving it around. Like, that would have been so much better than a button that you've never seen in any scene with him. 
we, we, we gotta rank this guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling either B or C. B or C. I'll, I'll go B. Yeah. 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 Like, I really like Goop, but, like, his power, like, I can't justify putting him any higher. All right. Grav attack. Okay. This one got its unanimous status from Twitter. <laughs> it, like, look at this man. Look at this power. I'm looking think, at it. Think about his power and the fact that what you could do with this, like gravity, like holy hell. I'm thinking A tier. A tier. A tier. Yeah. Like he's not he does his powers aren't S tier level, but I feel like if we were like ranking even the tiers individually, he'd be like top of the A tier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. His power isn't insane as clockwork work, but it's almost close. Alright. The brainy frog. Gray matter. Like I said, being small is an advantage. That is true. And he's also like the first like intelligent one that Ben has. Technically also giving him a different personality alongside it. Even that is true. Self-confirms that he has no idea what he's talking about. True, true. <laughs> like, I feel, I'm pretty sure there's a scene where Ben <clears throat> says some technical stuff in Gray Matter and then he said, if only I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm, Where do we rank gray matter? I'm thinking B. B. Yeah. Well, here's also the thing. With enough time, if Ben got like stuck as gray matter permanently, would he eventually, if he grew up, be able to create another Omnitrix? <clears throat> well, and here's the thing. I don't, I don't, I don't think you're at that episode yet. But um, in the original series, oh god, <laughs> in like there's like um there's like a, an episode that takes place in the future where you where like, you meet Ben's son, and it's his tenth birthday, and Ben gives him a new Omnitrix, and there was like a pop up, uh, trivia fact that said Ben made it with his smartest aliens. Oh wait, I do actually know of that episode. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think that I, I think that Ben is in like his forties. So, so Ben made just made a new watch, basically. But his smartest alien, so that would probably include Gray Matter. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. We've also seen the most of Gray Matter's race. Like, we've seen that is yeah. Well, I mean a that's a given. Them. We've seen a lot of them. Yeah. So yeah, he deserves that tier. Gut rot. I barely remember this one. So, gut rot. Think of any single gas known to man and not known to man he can make. Uh, I'm thinking S. Yeah. That is... Well, you think about the different kinds of things you can make with that. What what I love about this one though is because the episode that he shows up in, um, like Al not Albedo, um, Animo comes goes to the past from the future to help his younger self escape from the plumber base, and then when Ben turns into him, he's like, "Hey, you're from the future, right? What's this guy do?" And then Animo just fucking explains exactly what he can do. Did he even like, say the name Ben chose for it? Yeah, he says, you call this one gut rot. He's like, really? Why? <laughs> Your stomach is a walking laboratory. And he's like, ah, oh, get out of town. And he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And he goes, cool. And then he just makes sleeping gas immediately knocking out. <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> like, the second he unlocks the guy, he immediately takes out Anima within, like, five seconds. Yeah. It's like he like tricks Animo into just describing what this guy can do so he doesn't even have to try to figure it out. Wait. 
wasn't wait, wasn't there a thing? Okay, it don't different series handled this differently. But like in some series, Ben knows what an alien does right off the bat, and in some he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, this kind of thing is called like the data dump, where it just like gives you the basic instincts of an alien. Like with Cannonbolt, it didn't do that. True, but like in the original series, like not, he didn't get any of it. Um, so like a lot of people believe that like when Ben had the Omnitrix in the original series, it was like you know slightly damaged from like the ship exploding and like crashing on Earth, and then when it like recalibrated, recal- it like rebooted and fixed itself. And all the times Ben slapped the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, which is why like sometimes if like in Alien Force, for example, the first time he turns into Swamp Fire. He immediately shouts out Swamp Fire. Like, the first time he turned into the alien, he already had a name for it. But, so this wasn't the case, the case with, like, the gas one, the gut rot. I think, and here's what I think it is. It's like, if, if he had tried, he could have, like, you know, made something, but, like, he wouldn't have really thought about what to do. And I think it was just... Ben was probably also just like, yeah, I wonder if this guy can just give me the lowdown on what I can do real quick. Just to, like, like knowing Ben. He would, have, he would have probably just made some poison gas or something if it wasn't explained to him. Yeah, like. All right. Yeah, but that's really funny. And yeah, the S tier because gas, chemicals. All right. On to the first alien ever used. Heat blast. You get some points just for that, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, <clears throat> I'm, I'm definitely between S and A. Like that, I'm definitely one of the top two. Yeah, like he was the first alien ever. One of the most iconic transformation sequences ever. Yeah, and like, bro can like shoot fire. He can absorb fire. He can fly. Like what? Where would you place him? I'll give this one to you. I'm putting him in S. Yeah, that's fair. All right, Humongousaur. Why is this another forearms? <laughs> <laughs> He's basically just the later version of forearms. Bro. He's used the exact same way. Honestly, I'm thinking B or C. Like, he's just forearms, but... Ever so slightly less iconic. I also feel like his design doesn't really have... It's pretty bland, if you ask me. I love the ultimate design, but we're not doing those. I know. I, we'll get those eventually. Like, but yeah, I, I just feel like the color palette the design, like... When he when he grows, you know, when he gets like the armored plating and whatever, that looks cool. That looks great. But this, like the base form... It's a lizard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, C or B? Whichever one you feel like. I feel like B. Okay, yeah, I'll do B. All right, Jet Ray. Where? I I genuinely don't know for for this guy. I know I knew of his existence, but <laughs> all the times he got used were just a blank for me when I tried to remember. I. Honestly, he's got great powers. You know, he can fly, he can breathe in space and in water. He can shoot, like, laser blasts from his tail and eyes. Yeah. I'm just not a fan of his his design, like... <laughs> yeah. It's, I think it's also the colors. Like, the red and yellow don't really complement each other that well. For me, it's the neck or the leg thereof. Yeah. Um... I'm thinking B. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Why did they have to use this design? What do you mean? Why did they have to use that one? I I think we're all in agreement. S tier. (laughs) Kick and hawk. So. (laughs) No, no. No, No, but seriously, I'm thinking C tier. Yeah. Why yeah. Do they have to use that design here. Like it's uh, only first design, so much better. Honestly, I like this design more, but 
If it had the same uniform, that would be gold. Like, also, his power just isn't that great. Yeah, he's he's basically, like, upgrade, but, like, not good. <laughs> yeah. I, feel, I I like how Walker Trout is still solving down there as the only one. <laughs> Alright, kick and hawk. Didn't he also scan this one? Yeah, yeah, he scanned it from, like, a villain. And then immediately... Wasn't it, wasn't it explained here that Ben takes the prime form of an alien? <clears throat> yeah. Which is why he was stronger in the end? I'm thinking kick and hawk... Just like C or B. Like his power is fighting. Basically, he's basically a fighting type Pokemon. That's about it. So where would you place him? <clears throat> C or B. I think I'd go for C. All right, C. All right, one of my favorites, Lodestar. I'm thinking S. Hmm. Explain. Okay. So Lodestar, for one, is almost invincible. Like, he was blown up once, and then his body immediately just reconstructed itself. Uh, magnetism. Any, anywhere you go, there's going to be some form of metal somewhere. Even in the ground, when you think about it. Yeah, like, there's minerals everywhere. And I think, too, it's like... I, you know, I, I don't know if that would work, but I just realized, I just thought of like, you know, there's iron in your blood. Oh. Technically, I don't think that would work because I don't think there's enough of it, but. <laughs> well, technically, you could get this little of it that is in there, out of there, to just straight up kill <clears throat> man. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. He, he just, if you want him there, we'll place him there. All right, yeah. Lowe starts S tier. All right. Well, Trout, you're getting a friend. Well, hold on now. <laughs> Mustache is pretty useful. How? I mean, he can fly. So can almost everything else. But like, I don't know. Here's the thing. I feel like Mustache isn't the best, but he's still not a Trout. Well, really? no, nah, because, okay, no, nah, just because, like, if there was another category, I'd put it above him, but because we don't have any more room, and I don't want to put him next to any of the other ones, I'll put him next to Walker Trout. Like, I can't just add another tier and move Walker Trout down one. Like, I like how we have to justify this purely because of Walker Trout's existence. Alright, but next one? Um, hold on. You doing something there? There we go. Yeah, I just added a um, I added a new row. Are you joking? I uh, I called it "Burn It with Fire." What? We're just gonna put Walker Trout there. How did you add an extra row? If you click on like the uh the like the setting gears, you can like add row below, add row above. Oh god! You just did you just move Walker Trout down one more? Yeah, I just moved it down and burn it with fire. Why? <laughs> I love how this started. This started with me wanting to put it like legitimately in S tier just because I thought it'd be funny, and now he's down at the bottom. Our original placement was C tier, I think. Okay, I think after this, we're definitely gonna have to move some of these around. <laughs> So, walk, so <clears throat> Mool says it's now an F, and Walk Trout is in Burn It With Fire. Yes. For now. For now. <clears throat> that may change. The next, one is, the next one is extremely interesting to me, because it is, the because it is I think, one of the few scenarios where the Omnitrix actively had to compensate something for the alien. Yeah. 
Because that suit isn't normally a part of the race. Correct. Yeah, no. Like, that's an Omnitrix construct. I'm... Honestly, I feel like NRG is A or S. One of those two. Like, give me a quick refresher on his power, because in my head he was just Heat Blast, but different. So, he's basically made out of pure radiation. Hence the suit to keep people safe from him. Um... In the episode where the alien that he got the sample from showed up, the alien almost caused a nuclear meltdown in a power plant because it was eating the plutonium. Ooh. Yeah. So, yeah, this would be S. Yeah, I think S. Like, it has an interesting, it has an interesting thing that the Omnitrix actively compensating. It has a really good power. <clears throat> All right, amphibian. Honestly, I think A tier. I do not remember this guy's powers. He's basically Buzz Shock fused with Big Chill. Really? Yeah, like he has electrical powers. He can also travel through, like you know, like electrical wires. He can also turn intangible and fly. Yeah, you said A, right? Yeah. That seems deserved. All right. Atomics. Oh, dear Lord. You want to know something? What? The Ben 10 Reddit, a little bit ago, had a war going on with, for the Alien of the Month. <laughs> it was between Atomics and Slapback from the Reboot. Honestly, I would have voted for Slapback. Really? I despise this Transformer fucking lava lamp looking motherfucker. That's just like, there was like a war going on and people were making like edits of like a top of like Slapback holding atomics down in a torture basement. I just, I just don't like it. It's just, I don't know. It's power though. It, yeah. Here, here's the thing. I will put it in A. I refuse to give it S, though. That is fine. Like, I feel like personal resentment does should play a role in your... Yes. Yeah, I just... I just don't like it. Alright. Now oh, on to A the... Tier four. A tier 4. Huh? A tier 4 dogs purely because of its power. But next one. Dude, I was so confused because I was I was like, okay, on to the next one. And then you said A tier. A tier just for the power. I'm like, wait, what? No, no. I mean, if you want to give him A tier. No, no. If, if, if Paul Petrow's down and burning with... You know what? You know what? It's the worst. We're, we're, we're doing some revamping here, okay? I swear to God, if you won't move Paul Petrow down one more tier. No. Here's what we're going to do. I propose we put Ditto in D. We move Molestash to F, to E. Walker Trout to F, and we put the worst in Burn It With Fire. Really? Like, you don't even like the worst, ironically. He's literally just SpongeBob in that one episode with the bully. That's it. <laughs> it's and th this is what I hate the most about it, is though you think, oh my god, he named... Like, the, he named the species structure the worst. That's so fucked up of Ben to do, right? Yeah. Except for when you think about, we meet other members of that species, and you know what their names are? What? Well, one of them is Mrs. Worst. Oh, my God. Yeah, but they all have the word worst in the name. Is this species just called the worst? They're called Atrocians. Like this, okay, these guys were hated by whatever created them. Like, it... Hold on. Yeah, burn it with fire. Yeah. Definitely. I, uh, I also kind of, I also get uncomfortable that the Omnitrix...
his belly button. It's- I hate how his uniform is the pair of underwear. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I think this is the first new alien Ben got in Omniverse. I remember this guy, but I don't remember his power. Crash Hopper! Jumping? I think he was- couldn't he just jump? Yeah, he could basically jump and then just bounce off of stuff by jumping off of that. Yeah, yeah, then I actually did remember his power, yeah. I'm thinking C. C? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is just another pretty alright one. Yeah, I, he kind of reminds me of like a, like a, like a, a less, like a weaker version of Cannonball, just because of how they both like usually like ricochet off of stuff. Only this one doesn't have the sheer durability <clears throat> of Cannonball. <laughs> Alright. One of my favorite ones. I, I know where you want to put this one. Pesky Dust. S tier. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Purely uh, because you have praised this thing to high heavens to me. Dude, he's honestly, it's so OP. Fucking, it just immediately incapacitate any threat. You can enter their mind in dreams. You can persuade them to tell you secrets. You can read their minds. It's like... Just the fact that when Ben turned into pesky dust and Kyber saw him, he legitimately had a heart attack. Like, he was freaking the fuck out. Kyber, the guy that's basically craving the hunter for Ben 10, who literally hunted down... An ultimate Vaptosaurian. He killed the ultimate Humongosaur. And has its shell in his ship. He is terrified of pesky dust. That was the guy who, who was given the Nematrix, wasn't it? Yeah, he was the guy that had like, the dog. That could like turn all the predators. Yeah, because you're not supposed to use the Nematrix on yourself. Yeah. But yeah, like fucking dude is like the apex hunter. And he's terrified of the guy. Fucking S tier. Yeah, that's an easy S tier. You'd think they'd be one of those aliens that Ben uses once, like Walker Trout, the worst, Molestash. But instead, he uses it twice. So. <laughs> easy S tier. <clears throat> Alright. Next, uh, on to basically a nerfed version of Humongous Sword Forearms to me. <clears throat> Hold on, wait. I. I I have a name. Let me just prepare myself for saying this. Alright. Next, if Hulk Hogan, The Beast, and Wolverine had a threesome, Wrath. <laughs> okay, this guy is just another strong guy with an anger issues nerf. I'm thinking C or B. I really like his don't eat babies <laughs> You know, just for that, B. Yeah. I I love the fact that, honestly, I'm pretty sure Wrath is literally indestructible. Like, the shit that has happened to him, and he's walked off. Like, there was one scene where he fell from the stratosphere and slammed into the grounds, only to get out of a crater and yell at it. Maybe there's a secret, like, invulnerability to these guys. Like... <laughs> Like, we we got to spend an entire episode of quality time with this man. Dude, I, I love the one, there's one episode in Omniverse where Ben meets other Apoplexians, and he, like, he's talking to them, and he goes, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you wearing pants? You guys wear pants? Like, of course we wear pants. <laughs> and everyone else is like, well, that means that rather than running, running around, butt naked. <laughs> What? So th the one time the Omnitrix <clears throat> didn't give him an actual uniform? Like, I love that too, because in Omniverse, they gives almost all of them a uniform, but then the one that it doesn't is supposed to wear clothes. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, Rip Jaws. Underrated. I agree. He's definitely, I think, on the top ones. I would He's say probably the best amphibious alien. Probably. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd call him amphibious. He's a uh, oof. That's debatable. The best fish. <laughs> I will agree to that. Yes, the best fish. 
He's, he's got stiff comp competition in Walker Trout, but... <laughs> I'm thinking A or B. Yeah. He does his job, and he probably does it the best out of all of them. Yeah. Yeah. But it is water, so it's a limited use case. Yeah, like, he can walk on land, but, like, not for that long. I, yeah, the few times Ben actually turned into him on land, he had to, has he had to like, get water haphazardly. Yeah. <clears throat> so where would you place him? I'm thinking A or B, but just because of nostalgia, I think I'll bump it up to A. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Shock Squatch. Another electricity alien. Now to think about it, we have a lot of those. We really do, actually. Now, I just want to start this off by saying I despise the Omniverse design. Really? I hate it. What is it with people hating Omniverse design so much? It's not that I hate the actual... Like, it's just because, like, he was first introduced around the Ultimate Alien era. And I love that one so much because it's, like... Think about, like, most of Ben's aliens are, like, are, like muscular, you know? Like, they have, like, the big, broad shoulders, huge biceps and whatnot. Like, they're muscular aliens. But the original design for Shock Squatch... It gave him more of like like a like a like a chubby strong kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Like he, he had more of like a Wilson Fisk kind of body. Oh yeah, his design I'm I'm I had legit had to look it up because I did not remember the originals and even this one uses the omniverse design. Yeah. I did not remember that design, but yeah, that's that's a squatch. That's a chubby squatch. Yeah, and that was the thing, too. Like, I, I remember, like, so many people thought it was a different alien because of how starkly different it was. I'm finding, like, people making mixes between the new and old design that actually look kind of yeah. good. Keeping it I've seen yeah, I've seen those, too. I've seen those, too. Yeah, I like those a lot. I'm not a fan of the bright yellow, either. They probably should have gone with that if they wanted to make him leaner, still give him his original color. Because this just kind of looks like a knockoff superhero. This is another case where a lot of people will do like their own fan thing, where it's like they'll make it subspecies of the same alien, just because of how starkly different they are. All right, but where do we actually rank him? I'm thinking C. C. Yeah, that's that's basically the tier we've gone gone to for aliens that aren't that unique but still have. Decent powers, like it's kind of become the mat tier. Yeah. All right, Spider Monkey. Spider Monkey. Spider Monkey. <laughs> another, an, another one where I feel like he would have gotten more points if we were taking ultimate consideration. True, but we're not. <laughs> I will forever haunt you down for that. Eventually, okay, we'll fucking get there. Sorry, I, I, like, Albedo is, like, my favorite character. Alright. I'm... Where do you think we should put it? Spider Monkey. Yeah. I feel like... I feel B tier. B? B or C? Like, his power is pretty useful. He, he is pretty unique when it comes down to it. I'll, uh... Basically Spider-Man. Hmm. I say C. Yeah, I, was, I had a feeling you were gonna say that. So yeah, C is fine. Along with the, uh, along with the other ones. Like, C has become the... T C has become the... You're, like, just... Well, not Matt's here. I don't want to say Matt either, because there are some genuine good ones in there. Hmm. <clears throat> it's just kind of the middle ground. Yeah. All right. What is that? Spitter. Legitimately, I don't this one at all. Spitter is used three times in every in the, in the entirety of Ben Ten. Well, then he's used more than Blitzwolf. <laughs> Actually, no. Blitzwolf is used way more than that. Okay, the Frankenstein guy then. Still used way more. And literally, every alien is used more. Than Spitter. Fucking Walker Trout is used more than Spitter. Wait, wasn't it Frankenstein dude used once? 
in the original series, he was used several times in Omniverse, though. So Spitter was used three times. He was used twice in the original series, and, like, once in, like, Ultimate Alien by Future Ben, I think. No, not even that. No, it was it was twice. It was twice in the original series. That's the only time he was used. Spitter didn't even show up in Omniverse. Where do we even place this? I'm Burn thinking... Fire. Burn over fire? No. Walk a trout? No. C. 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 Like, we have not seen enough of this guy, like, ever. My main thing is, just because I think... His powers are literally, he can just shoot. He basically stink fly. He spits out this, like, ooze at, like, a large velocity. But just because he's underrated and doesn't get used that much, I feel like he should be in C. So, like, even, wait, wasn't Blitzwolf used an equal amount of times? Oh, yeah, Blitzwolf was used way more. Way more? No, yeah. Blitzwolf, wasn't Blitzwolf also used, like, three times? He was used once in the original series, but he got, I would guess, three uses out in Omniverse for a total of four. So he's been used at least twice as much as Spitter. Yeah. So I feel like he's hard to rank purely because he's been used. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him down to D. We'll put him in D. Here, snugly next to Ditto. <laughs> All right, stink fly. Ooh, an OG. Hmm. Used a fair amount of times. The original flyer. <clears throat> I'm taking C or D. C or D. C or D. Yeah. Well, I, I will place him in C, but why? Explain to me why D. Explain to me why D. Just because. Uh, okay, I don't think he's. Up enough to get to A and B, and also one, he can be taken out with water. It's two. Oh gosh. Two. Here's what. This is a major inconsistency that they do in some episodes. Stinkfly will use his goo to put out fire, but in other episodes, he uses oh. it as an explosive. I I like I said about the Kevin. Like an episode later. When Ben is working together with Mutant Kevin? Yeah, he's like, oh, Stingfly's goo mixed with, like, Key Blast fire. And it's like, okay, so it's combustible. But in, like, another episode, like a, like, a couple of episodes later, fucking, he uses it to put out an oil fire. Like, what? Huh? So just because I feel like it's not, like, they don't really have the rules down flat on this guy. <laughs> Yeah. No, All you right. know what D, since, like, they're, like, Quox is in there, Bullfuck's in there. And I also, I just feel like there's better aliens than Stinkfly. If we're, ta if we're taking it, like I said, this is why I asked you at the beginning if we're gonna, like, take the fact that takes Ben's watch at the time into consideration. Because, like, in that, like, there are a lot of better flying aliens if you look in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. All right. So... I'm, I'll put it, I'll squish him in between, like, blocks and frog. <laughs> Swamp fire. Discount, discount heat blast, but in the best way possible. I'm thinking A. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he doesn't have heat blast iconic stuff, but... Oh, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have the same, like, output, and he can't, like, you know, like, absorb fire. But bro is, like, invincible, like... He's got super strength. He can control plants. Pretty useful. Yeah. Feedback. He has, like added little plant thingies, by the way. He just. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he, he, has, he has an iconic but he blast, but in the best way possible. Yeah. Feedback. Probably yes. I've heard from sources that this man is absolutely broken. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I'll put him in this. Like, I, the point is, I've only heard from sources that he's absolutely broken due to the amount of stuff he can absorb. Yeah, I mean, the dude literally did, like, 
absorb the Big Bang and shoot it out as a Kamehameha. Yeah. Also, <clears throat> in one of the coolest entrances in Omni, by the way. True, true. Yeah, I, I feel like S tier purely because of how this guy His design is also pretty neat. I like it. Yeah. Terra Spin. Not used that much, I think. Yeah, he doesn't get used as much as the other ones. Um, I feel like he doesn't really have that many abilities. He's got a strong shell. He can turn into a giant fan and fly. But that's about it. Huh. Where do we even put this, then? I would, I would argue C or D. I feel like C. C? Oh. All right. Well, put it in C. Or do All you right. really want him in D? Or do you really want him in D? No, C is good. All right. Toe I pick. Really, I really like his design. So do I. I'm thinking S. Really? 100%. His power. He's ugly. <laughs> He's Richard as an alien. <laughs> I remember his design. I remember his name. I remember, like, But the specifics of his power are lost on me. Basically, what it is, is when his cage opens and someone sees his face, they are struck with a paralyzing fear. Like, I the way remember, I... Okay, the, I thought, for some reason, I thought his power was shooting some sort of gas out of that mask, because I feel well, like that... There, in, the, in the scene where the cage opens, there's, like, some kind of, like, steam that gets emitted. I don't know if that's just because, like, it's supposed to be, like, you know, like a moving mechanism, the mask... Or if he literally, like, you know, generates this, like, mist that causes whoever breathes it in to see a fear. Like, kind of like Scarecrow's fear toxin. Yeah. All I know is, is that if you look at his face, you are done. That's why I thought his power had something to do with gas. Also because of the tubes there. I feel, I thought, I was mixing the mic, mist and the fact that the tubes were there. I thought it was, like, some sort of gas. Right. I remember a scene where he used it on... I feel like he used it on the clown. clown. He did, yeah, Zombozo, yeah. Yeah, Zombozo. He basically like, terrified him into exploding. So, S with this one? Yeah, S tier. I somehow <clears throat> thought this was a Ben 23 alien. <laughs> Edel? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Edel... Edel's tough with me. Really? He's basically up Chuck, but not. <laughs> not. So this is a downgrade. Uh, I, w I would argue so. He's got a more durable body, um, and I think he's more limited to like like eating like solid like materials like concrete and metal. For representing his power, his omniverse design is probably better. Yeah, I'm. Here's the thing. I'm kind of torn. I like the Omniverse one, but I also like the Ultimate Alien one. Like the Omniverse one, I feel like there's a way better way of conveying what his power is. Yeah, I will say that Omniverse, he looks like a beetle, and I feel like Ultimate Alien, I I feel like he looks more like a rhino kind of. To me, it just kind of looked like some sort of robot. True. He's very plain. He doesn't have a lot of detail. Reminds me of the goddamn stink. Reminds me of the goddamn stink fly design in the reboot. <laughs> oh, people hate that thing with a passion, by the way. Yeah, I know. So do I. Where All right. Put, where should we put him? Edel. I'm thinking C. Yeah, but he's just up chuck, but worse. Yeah, that's why. That's why I don't want to put him in the same category. But I, I don't feel like he go, he deserves to be that far down either. Like he doesn't Let's deserve see. to be with Ditto and the others. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Block. By the way, Blocks is the only one that seems out of place in that tier. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> Nano Mac. Huh. Oh, oh boy, this one should not have been brought over into the stuff. <laughs> It should have remained in its live action state and not much more. Like this one, 
just on war behind this one i find interesting but that's about it yeah i'm ah, god i'm not really sure it's an omnitrix alien like made by the omnitrix maybe d yeah that's fair yeah i'm thinking d like there's an advantage to being small but that being that small is just a disadvantage like that's the fly <laughs> all right chameleon isn't this another scan one yeah yeah so he uh instead of being in its prime it's just an exact duplicate of the guy he scanned yeah that's that's basically that's any alien he scans with the ultimatrix as we can see, Albedo's inferior design. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm really sure. I'm thinking maybe D. Yeah. Because like he's only here's the thing he's really only good for like stealth missions, but even then, like Ghost Freak is better. Big yeah, Chill like is better. Amphibian is better. A lot of things can do his job better. Yeah. Like, all he does is turn, like, he turns, he can uh, camouflage. He can't turn invisible. That's an important factor. He still has a shadow. Ooh, that's bad. So if you're, like, walking through, like, a corridor and you just fucking see a lizard's shadow walking along the ground, you're like, um, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Something ain't right. All right. Where do, do is this the fact that a ton of aliens do his job better? Yeah, I'm thinking D. I'm actually thinking F. F? I am. I am with, since it's the exact same case as Walker Trek. I. It's I'll concede. I'll concede to E. I'll concede to E. You will concede to. E. The point is, we are, we just use the exact same wording for him as we did for Walker Trout. I know, but I hate Walker Trout more. <laughs> <laughs> what does the boy do to you? You know what? You know what? How about this? We put Chameleon in F. We move Astrodactyl to F, and we put Walker Trout in E. Why? Because the more I fucking look at it, the more I want to strangle Astrodactyl. I fucking hate his design so much. Okay, we'll definitely move Astrodactyl down to F then. If we don't finish up soon, I'm gonna put him in burning fire. Like, I'm not joking. So, you want to move Walker Chuck to E? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think the guy deserves a raise. Oh, give him a boost of Why? confidence. Why do you hate Astrodactyl so much? I don't know. It's just... I don't like the look of it. Alright. But next on is my favorite alien ever. Upgrade S tier. Sure. I'll, I'll, I will. I will. Uh, honestly, I feel like he's he's better jury rig and he's better goop. Like... Like, he's great. Yeah. He has the same like liquid like the, the same like liquid body as Goop, but doesn't need like you know a projector to keep his shape. He can shoot a laser beam and can quite literally emerge with any piece of technology. Like it's you pretty fucking dope. That I absolutely despise his omniverse design. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Like, why is the logo there? Why? I'm kind of. There? I'm I'm like I'm like fifty fifty on that one. Like. I'm not totally against it, but I'm also not totally for it. He's, he's also one of the few aliens that has a decent design. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That one's fine. I'm not I'm not big on the purple color, but I'm also not totally against it. Like his original design for me was his kind of perfection when I found him. True. He's also, he's also great. great. I, I fucking love him. He's my favorite alien. Mm. All right, water hazard. Good. Yeah, he honestly, I think he's the only one of Ben's aliens that can actually shoot water. Well, uh, 
Stingfly can also put out fire. That's not what I said. Nuts. I said he can shoot water. <laughs> Sometimes. I'm thinking B. B? Yeah. Just because he's got a really durable shell. He can shoot water. He can actually... He can absorb the moisture in the air as well. Oh, that's really good. Like, there was one scene where he was fighting, um, I forget the guy's, I think his name was Nemesis, he was another superhero, but, like, he was, like, doing it more for the money and whatnot, and he was, like, paying villains to, like, make him look good, and, like... Basically, so, basically, isn't it basically one of the same things, like, Phil kind of did? Yeah, basically. But, like, that shows, like, one scene where, like, Ben wasn't messing around. Like, Ben used Water Hazard to drench the guy's suit short circuit in the electronics, and then absorbed the moisture in the air, making the armor really brittle, so that it literally fell off of him. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm thinking B. Ben is scary when he's not, like, poisoned by hubris or ego or... I know, right? Like, it's like, I mean, people say, would you, like, what's scarier, seeing Batman smile or, or facing Spider-Man and him not cracking jokes? I would argue Ben not shouting the name of his transformation is scarier. Like him just transforming without saying anything. Yeah, that, that's when you know, like, oh, fuck, this guy, he's serious. So B tier, right? Yeah, I think B. Next up, I've heard this one is broken. Vampire. I've, I, I've heard this, well, from one thing, only one thing that this guy was broken. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty rare. I would say A. A. Yeah. All right. He he does have a vulnerability to the sun. That's bad. Yeah, but bro can like control people, like mind control. He has hypnotism. He can he can absorb the life energy of other beings. That's really good. Yeah. Um, Wild Vine. What? Wild Vine? Yeah. I'm at Wild Mutt right now. Wild Mutt. Wild Mutt. Wild Mutt. Wild Mutt. <laughs> um, what do we do with Wild Mutt? This is tough for me. I'm okay. I'm thinking E. E for an OG alien. That must be a strong justification. I just be so one. He's good for tracking, right? I'll give him that. He's a good tracking alien, but that's about the only thing he's good for. He's one of the few feral aliens actually contained in the Omnitrix. That is true. That is true. I just, I don't know. There's just something about him that I'm just, I don't know. His transformation sequence is weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's not a bad alien. I just feel like he's not, he's like, really, he's low on the list. He is I, often the punchline of a joke. Yeah, I would say E. Like I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I can even count how many dog jokes Gwen has made when Ben turned into Wild Mutt. Hey, you remember that one time Gwen cast a spell to make all the dogs in the park horny for Ben? I don't. I think that's blocked out of my memory. <laughs> I, I think that's blocked out of my memory somewhere. Editor, play the clip. <laughs> I'll put that in later. But yeah, no joke. Like. It's it's so fucked up. Oh god, you're gonna have to censor that wording, by the way. <laughs> um, Wild Vine. Way he's good. I would say D, D. or C. I feel like C. Yeah. You're like a stuff like Spitter is in D. True, true. Alright. Accelerate. 
S tier. Really? Accelerate. Dude can run so fast that time looks like it's frozen. So, also, like, basically a speedster. Yeah, and, like, that was when he was 10. So picture, like, grown. Yeah. Ben 10K using that. I think I think I saw a trivia fact that said that Ben ten like Ben ten thousand as accelerate is able to run around the world in like a minute or two. Like even the, when Ben was ten, Ben mentioned to wanting to go accelerate so he could run like two states over to go grab a, to go grab a burger. Yeah, like <laughs> bros fast. Like and then and Gwen just said, "I'll take my extra flies while trying to fiddle." Yeah. Wait, no, that's when he unlocked Cannonball. It is, yeah, that's what that's what happened, yeah. Alright, well, that's... S-tier, S- S-tier Accelerate, yeah. I think S-tier, yeah. And that's... And, yeah, that's it. That looks like every alien. Uh, yeah, that's every single one. None of them are left out or missed. All the ones, yeah, yeah, so they're all, all pretty good. Um, all lined up, like, show the full list to them all, like... That's that's the list. Yeah, this is this is it. There's uh uh nothing left. I think that's uh that's it. Thank you, Brian, for joining me for this. And um yeah. Be here. Oh, oh my god. I we forgot we forgot that there, there was we forgot one. What? What did we forget? Hold on, I need, I, need to think of, I need to think of something really stupid. Give me a second. Um, fuck, wait, what was gotta the one? Ed- gotta edit that out. Yeah, I'm gonna edit that part out. Shit, wait, hold on, what was the one? Um, it was, um... Oh, God. I got it, I got it. <clears throat> oh, oh we, we forgot, we forgot one. We for- did we forget one? Yeah, yeah, I, I can't believe how we missed it. The best one. We forgot the best one. We, well, that the best one. That must be a really good one, then. Yeah, Surge from the reboot. <laughs> Holy shit! S tier. <laughs> too bad. Too bad he isn't on the list. Otherwise, he'd easy S tier. All right. <clears throat> but, yeah, but that that's it. That that's them all. That's all. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Brian, for joining me. Uh. If any of you watching want to check out his channel, the link will be in the description below. Do not. Do it. All right. Well, I'll see you all next time. Peace. Bye-bye.